my friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Today we are stuffing our cash envelope, sinking fund cash envelopes, variable spending cash envelopes um, for the month of April. I have a listing here in my budget by paycheck workbook from the Budget Mom. And um, I have switched over. It's still in my budget binder, but I switched over to using this um, budget breakdown sheet, envelope breakdown sheet from Nora's Cove. This was featured in the February budget box, and I absolutely, it's just perfect. It's minimal <laughs> and easy to work with. So I love that. And then the information, of course, is in my, my budget binder. Um, so this month we are going to stuff $1,170 and I've got our cash here. Um, I feel like March <laughs> went by faster than February and February is the shorter month, but um, we got a lot done in March, so I can't can't complain um, per se, but it was and is a blur. I spent a lot of time in March working on Planner Search Box, and so that always makes things a blur for me. But um, we are ready to jump into April, working on finalizing my budget, but I do have this portion done for cash envelope stuffing. So we're going to start with... Um, groceries and dining out and gas. Um, gas is the only one that I, well, it's, that's not true. Gas is one that I roll over every month. There's general, generally not anything left in groceries or dining out um, or household. Um, but gas, I have $69 left and um, I... I'm only adding 60. I think 120. I'll be able to stay under that next month. So, um, nothing rolling over for groceries, dining out, and household. So, we're going to put $300 into groceries. And um, I really probably need to adjust groceries and eating out because I go over every month, but I'm, I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, everything is just so expensive. So it's really hard to stay under like a grocery trip. <laughs> um, I think I may have shared this. I had like four things and it was $37 and they weren't expensive things. It just doesn't go as far as it used to. Okay. So household, we're going to put in $20. And gas, we're going to do 60. And I'm going to make myself a little note that there's 129 in here now that I add the 60. Envelope. Then we are going to um, get into this one. And then I'm going to move this money because it's kind of in the way. Um, this has Black Friday, which we're going to add 120. And that will bring us to 320. And I'm going to be making a deposit in April and moving some of this cash over to Ally so that it can earn some interest and also so that I'm not running around with a lot of cash. So we should have 320, so 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 310, 320. Okay, and then Christmas is getting... I believe 25. Let's see, Black Friday, Christmas is getting 20. And 
And that will bring this to 70. this binder vacation vacation is getting 25 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 20 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. Okay, let me move this money because it's in the way. I'll do self care and then I'll move it out the way. Okay, so self care. Um, is getting 50. All right. So on um, self-care, I did do my, my Q1. I have a goal to do a quarterly self-care activity. So I did do my Q1 self-care activity. It was awesome. I will talk about it when I do my close out video, but um, it was it was great. It was $128. I was under budget because the budget was $150. Um, and um, I did not want to do it because I just really didn't want to leave the house, but <laughs> which I never want to leave the house. Um, be a hermit over here if I could, but it was fantastic and I enjoyed myself and I'm glad I did it. So we are going to add a one, um, we're going to add a 50 to self care and that should give us 189. So let's see, this is actually going to be wrong because, so let me, before I, I count this, I'm going to take out the 128 that needs to go back to the bank to cover what I spent. I wrote it down, but I did not take the money out yet. Okay, so now we should have 189. So 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 189. And that takes care of this binder. So now we're going to move into what is more of our long-term savings in most instances. Are more of sinking funds than variable. And the money that I, if you're wondering what I just put in there, that's the self-care money that's going to go back to the bank. So we're going to start here. These are in alphabetical order. So um, the first thing is the Estite box, which is a quarterly subscription from Cloth and Paper. Um, I'm putting aside 75. The next time I bill is June 1. So um we ju we just had a a billing 
And so I already have enough to cover it, but I had two boxes. And so in case I like, I decide I want to do two boxes again, I like to have a little buffer. I'm not totally in love with the things that have been sneaked for this spring box. Um, so I'm not, I'm going to, I've, I'm going to scale back to, well, I already scaled back to one box. So, um, we'll see what summer is looking like. And if I am digging it, um, I just did a skip. So if I'm, if I'm digging it, I'll keep the two. If not, I'll skip again. Um, so we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, okay, so, and the reason I had two is because I really wanted the hoodie, which I just happened to be wearing today, is the cloth and paper Sunday Citizen hoodie. And I still love it, and I'm glad I got two of them. Okay, so here we have... Uh, a steet, and we should have 180, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. All right, so that's the Estite. There's another one that could really go to the bank. I'm going to be um, unstuffing a lot of these and putting it in the bank. Let me know if you want to see that on video. Um, birthday's getting 50, and that should bring us to 200. And that's coming up in June don't know what I'm doing. Just sort of winging it. Okay, so we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. Next is bulk shopping. I spent all of my bulk shopping money in March. And um, so we are back down to, I actually spent more than what was in the envelope. So we're back down to zero on our bulk shopping. Um, and again, things are expensive, but I like, I just don't have the, in my brain, the capacity to put more than $80 in here right now um, and do the other things that I want to do. So it's like prioritizing what's most important to me. Um, so I'm going to try not to do any bulk shopping this month. Um, I will still go to Costco, get PD's medication. And when I do that, I'm going to have to pay my Costco membership. So $80 going into bulk shopping. Um, but I'm going to try not to buy anything per se while I am perusing Costco or Sam's Club. Um, business is getting $40. And that will bring us to 80. So there's 40 in there. And we're going to add 40. So now we have $80. Next is Canva. Canva's getting $10. And that'll bring us to 30. Ten here. I'm going to add ten. Next is car. Car is getting twenty dollars. That'll bring us to one ninety-five. Yeah, say hi. Hi, Petey. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
Next up is Costco, which is getting $5. And um, you're probably like, you need to pay your Costco membership and you've only got $20 as of the stuffing. Uh, I have a Costco sinking fund at Ally as well. So the full amount of my membership is there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It takes care of Costco. Clothing is getting $10. I know people put a lot more towards clothing than $10. I am not a clothing shopping person. I really try to, I just, don't, I just don't like clothes shopping. So I try to, if I find something I like, I get it in 18 different colors. And um, so it's $30 now in clothing. And that's it for me. Um, but I have a ton of clothes that I do not wear. And I need to put them on Mercari. I've been saying that for a while. Poshmark seems to not be it. Um, I have sold some things on Poshmark, but it's like it needs to be more high end for it to do well on Poshmark. And um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to work on that because I need uh, part of my 2024 goal is purging, and I need to purge the stuff. All right, so we're putting 20 in electronics, which will bring us to 180. So 120, 40, 60, and 80. Um, this little emergency fund is just an extra envelope, so nothing is going in there. I do that electronically. And that takes care of this binder. And so our next binder, and if you're interested in these binders, they are available on Studio Bliss Co. at my shop. Um, and you can customize it to fit your needs. Okay, so garden. Um, I have gotten some things from for my garden um, already. We're gonna be adding $40 today. That'll bring us to $175. Um, I was able to get a big standing planter and then um, I showed in a uh, Friday Night Lights video that I was able to get um, two really large three cubic feet each planters um, so I've, I've got some planters I don't have any thing to plant just yet I haven't gotten that far I don't know what the perfect time or the right time is to really start I think April is a good time though so I'll probably start doing that then 120, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so 175 in our garden fund. Next is health. Health is getting 20. And that brings us to 204. Let's see, there's 20. 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so next we have an insurance envelope that's also electronic, so nothing going there. Then we have Petey's envelope, and he is giving $80. And, um... We only need to do one of his medications this month. So it's basically a wash with the 80 because that's about what it costs. So, so the 80 is going to bring him to 307. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Been doing good with our envelopes, like being balanced. 
adding up correctly. Love when that happens. Okay, P.O. Box is getting 15. Yeah, it's getting 15. So that brings this to 45. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five. Amazon Prime membership is getting ten. Fourteen. And that will bring us to thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So prime is thirty and that does it. Got Sam's, we're not doing that. Shopify is electronic, taxes is electronic, utilities electronic. So that is it. Um, $1,170 um, stuffed to our cash envelopes for April. Let me know if you do cash envelope stuffing. Let me know if this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to post those down below. But this is how I get myself set up for success for the month and for long-term savings. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button. If you're new, please consider subscribing and I'll see you back here next time. Bye.